What if you had lived during the Devonian period? Many of us ponder the notion, if humans had appeared on Earth earlier in its history, would they have been able to survive these other epochs? In different geological periods of our planet's life, living conditions were quite unlike what modern humans are accustomed to. Continents were in different locations, there were disparate weather conditions, and diverse flora and fauna. Even the composition of the water and air were distinct from the current day. We've already discussed the possible human survival during the age of dinosaurs. This time, we're taking you back to an even earlier time, the Devonian period. If you are interested in the history of life on Earth and want to be the first to hear about new video releases, we recommend you subscribe to our channel. Here you can learn about scientific theories related to various stages of the planet's formation. Also, our subscribers are able to share their opinions in the comments. And with the help of likes, you can express your opinion of our production to the creators of this channel. And now, the Devonian period, which is also called the Age of Fish. It spanned 56 million years. During this time, the landscape of living organisms underwent development. The underwater world, though, boasts the greatest diversity of animal and plant species. No other era has seen so many variants of fish, arthropods, mollusks, sponges, corals, and polyps. The conditions at the beginning of this era were very different from the conditions at its end. Let's try and compare these time periods and figure out where humans would fit most comfortably. To this, we will access the geological, climatological, atmospheric, and even culinary aspects of their existence. Habitat The geology of the Devonian period is characterized by intense volcanic activity and constant movement of tectonic plates. At the onset of this period, there were two large continents that made up the land, Lavasia and Gondwana. Both of them were located in the southern hemisphere. By the end of the period, they had merged into one supercontinent, Pangaea. Due to the constant movement of the Earth's crust, new mountains and islands were formed. In particular, the present-day British Isles and the North American Appalachian Mountains were formed during this time. All these shifts and collisions were accompanied by regular volcanic eruptions, tsunamis, and earthquakes. After the final unification of continents, however, this activity subsided. It turns out that from the point of view of geology, people would have lived more comfortably in the central part of Eurasia or Gondwana. Moving to the coast would be more worthwhile only after the final unification of continents. As you will see, all life was concentrated near the coast in the early Devonian period. The central lands of the early Devonian period were a barren wasteland. Flora and Fauna By the end of the Devonian period, the entire land surface was covered with tropical forests. The trees growing during this era were of enormous size. As far as structure is concerned, they were more similar to ferns, and they didn't reproduce through seeds but used spores. This trait didn't prevent them from growing several dozen meters in height. There have been discoveries of remains of these giant ferns with trunks up to 30 meters or 98 feet. This meant that humans in the Devonian period would have been well supplied with fuel and building material. It is unlikely, however, that plants would have provided the necessities of life. During this period, plants had yet to bear harvestable fruit. There wouldn't have been any point in farming either, unless these portions of plants were to simply serve as seasoning or alternative sources of vitamins. Foraging for food by hunting during the Devonian period would have been difficult as well. The fact is that the land was inhabited for the most part by insects and arthropods. It is among the arthropods that the most dangerous of that era's terrestrial predators could be found. Not only were crustaceans the size of modern dogs, but they possessed a serious weapon in the form of powerful claws. Scientists also believe that the Devonian porcupines were poisonous. It's likely that the stinger located at the end of their tail performed similarly to modern scorpions. That said, it's not entirely clear how tasty and nutritious such prey would have been. On the other hand, scorpions are considered a delicacy in some Southeast Asian countries. But it was at this moment that fish began to explore the land. During this process of development, they first became amphibians and then finally fully-fledged reptiles. These reptiles had not yet begun to grow to the size of dinosaurs. Thus, by the end of the Devonian period, humans would have had the opportunity to eat something akin to the modern monitor lizard. 
the collection of mollusks and trilobites in the tidal zones of the planet's seas and oceans could have substantially supplemented the human palate. Mollusks of this period did not differ much from their modern counterparts in terms of appearance and lifestyle. Thus, their meat should have had the same consistency and nutritional value. And the extinct trilobites probably tasted like crab. The most efficient way to supply food in the Devonian period would have been fishing. The seas and oceans of this era were home to a vast array of armored and cartilaginous fish of all variations and sizes. By learning how to catch them, one could say goodbye to hunger forever. But here, it was important to avoid becoming prey yourself. The Devonian period's scariest predators lived beneath the waves. The enormous and armored Dunkleosteus, or 10-foot clam Camaroceras, could have easily mistaken a man in the water or a boatload of fishermen as prey. If such an encounter were to take place, there would be little chance of survival. And that's not even touching the huge number of prehistoric sharks and rays which usually ended up being food themselves for the aforementioned monsters. Climate Throughout the Devonian period, the climate on our planet was hot and humid. The average temperature at the beginning of the period hovered around 30 degrees Celsius or 86 degrees Fahrenheit and dropped to about 25 degrees Celsius, 77 degrees Fahrenheit towards the period's end. And nowadays, we find locations on the Earth with similar climates. People have been living in these areas for a long time and haven't run into serious problems. However, by the end of the Devonian period was brought on by a consequence of sharp cooling. Here, the onset of another ice age could threaten human survival. Many scientists agree that this was the reason for the extinction of almost every living creature of the Devonian period. Atmosphere Another reason for the extinction of many species may have been a change in the composition of the breathable atmosphere. At the beginning of the period, there was a large amount of carbon dioxide in the air. This created a greenhouse effect and was the reason behind such a hot climate. But the landfall of plants led to an increase in the release of oxygen into the air. The ocean was already being taken over by green algae, which was producing an enormous amount of oxygen as well. Many organisms were unable to adapt quickly enough to the changing gas compositions in the air and water. At the end of the Devonian period, oceans were virtually barren. The Ice Age Regardless, the decrease in the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere led to a subsequent decrease in the greenhouse effect. The climate on the planet became drastically cooler. This resulted in the onset of another ice age. And there's no telling whether people caught up in the Devonian period would have been able to adapt. Even now, there were places on the Earth's surface where it's impossible for humans to survive without proper knowledge and skills. An ill-equipped person can die from exposure, lack of water and food, and attacks by wild animals. This can happen in the circumpolar regions, in deserts, tropical jungles, and other underdeveloped regions. In the Devonian period, people would have faced a world completely unlike our own, with its own laws and rules. Therefore, the following conclusions can be drawn from the aforementioned information. Theoretically, humans could have survived in the Devonian period. However, their survival would have depended upon the exact time and place they inhabited. Training and skills would have been of utmost importance. Thank you for watching our latest video to the finale. In the additional videos on our channel, you can learn about the possibility of human survival in other eras and the trials that await mankind in our planet's future.